Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is a seven card reading, having a look to see who misses you. Um, if they're thinking about you, this could be an ex-lover, ex-spouse, someone that you were involved with um, for the short term, someone that you might have been involved with for a long-term relationship as well. This is to have a look and see if they're missing you, if they're thinking about you, um, and if there is a potential reconciliation on the horizon for the two of you. Now, please bear in mind some of, some of these messages may resonate whilst others will not. It's important that we keep an open mind um, when accepting these messages because some things will fit, others will not. Um, and if nothing, if there's nothing in here for you, then unfortunately maybe these messages weren't for you. But for others, there might be something in here that definitely resonates with your situation. Nonetheless, thank you for joining me, Aquarius. Um, it's good to have you here. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe or comment. Uh, share your comments, your thoughts, feedback um, below in the comment section. Otherwise, let's get straight into it, Aquarius. Do they miss you? Six of Pentacles, strong earth sign coming through, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like the Six of Pentacles is an outpour. It's almost like generosity. It's almost like an outpour. It's quite a benevolent nature. This is someone that is thinking about you or wants to do something for you. Now, for those that are on friendly terms, you're civ on civil terms with an ex, an ex-lover, I feel as though this person is going to be generous, whether it's financially generous, um, whether it's generous with their emotions, generous with their thoughts, generous with their feelings, you can see this wonderful outpour. Um, and I almost feel like this person might even shower you with gifts um, or give you something as a token of their love to give you to, to show you that they still care or that they're still thinking about you. Or um, it's almost like a token, something to commemorate that this person still has feelings for you um, in some regard here, Aquarius, especially if you have been dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo here. Um, it's almost like a notion of inundation as well. So I feel like they're inundated right now. <clears throat> or you're going to be inundated by them very, very soon, um, is what I'm seeing here. It could even be like an overwhelming energy. Um, it's quite obvious. It's quite succinct. It's not something that is ambiguous. It's easy to read. Um, and I feel like this is what the energy this person is coming through with, with the Six of Pentacles here. Um, let's have a look. What else is coming up? Okay. You have the judgment card wanting to poke out here. This is a um, wonderful energy, really. The judgment card is about feeling um, and accepting judgment, accepting one's opinion, accepting someone's judgment call. I feel like someone is trying to face the music and accept, um, accept what you've given them. Either you've left Aquarius, you've left on really swift terms. Um, maybe there was a bit of judgment involved, whether on your behalf or on your part or their part. I feel like with the judgment there, this is karmic lessons. And I feel like this, this person that's around you has something to say about you. But when I think about the, the type of things they're wanting to say, Aquarius, I see that it's all good things. Um, and I see they're trying to be positive and trying to look back fondly on this relationship and see what they've learnt. Um, and maybe they're finally receiving their karma. For some, I feel like the judgment card is they have to face the music. So if they were dishonest with you, if they were untruthful, if they were disrespectful, I feel like karma is going to get them. I do. I feel like it's going to hit them hard. But I really like this beautiful energy of the judgment card. The beautiful flowers are in blossom. The butterflies present in the card signify metamorphosis, change, enlightenment, and growth. So I feel like internally this person is becoming more spiritually enlightened. But I honestly think you had something to do with this Aquarius in one way or another, whether you're aware of this or not. On some level, you helped them on a spiritual journey or you've helped them grow, either mature um, either become more analytical, um, either become more adaptable. There's something that you've taught them um, and there's a reason why you came into each other's paths. I do feel like there could be an outpour of judgments that come out, an outpour of opinions, judgments, um, regrets, mistakes. I feel like this may be coming soon and I think it's time for you to face the music as well, um, Aquarius. But you'll definitely hear from this person. <clears throat>
Okay, the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio here with the Page of Cups. I feel like something is being, something is, is brimming and it hasn't developed just yet. So I feel like under the surface, there's something going on here. The Page of Cups energy is, is quite a um, emotionally inclined energy, Aquarius. So I feel with the Page of Cups that this person is up to something. Um, either an outpour, either they're practicing their lines for you, getting ready to give you a piece of their mind, um, either they're rehearsing their lines because they're wanting to impress you or wanting to entice you and they know they need to turn, turn on that charm, that intellectual charm to really um, get your juices going. But I feel like they're up to something. I almost see in the imagery here, you see this mermaid and she's. it's almost like she's concocting something. So I honestly feel they're up to something here, Aquarius. And as I said, I feel a lot of you will be hearing from this person. But it's quite an accommodating energy with the Page of Cups. Um, in the Rider Waite deck, we see the fish emerge from the cups. So I feel like someone is trying to be accommodating or flexible or very considerate of your emotions. So I'm not seeing that this is anger, bitter frustration, confrontations, fights, and... Um, you know, screaming matches with each other. I don't see it as this. With the Page of Cups, I think they're up to something. Whether they're wanting to reveal something to you, I think there's an outpour of emotion. There's something that's going to come from this. They're trying to work up the courage to tell you how they feel or tell you how you change them or tell you why they've changed after your relationship or after your connection. But I feel like they owe it to you or they owe it to themselves to tell you what they need to say or express what they what they're feeling or felt the magician aries energy here with the magician okay this this type of energy where they're just about ready to soar they're just about ready to break free you know they're perched up the top of the stump and they've got the power to leap forward but they're not doing that yet so there's something about suppression or holding back or the time is not ripe for them to step forward or the time is not ripe for them to move on from you. So I feel like they're sort of in limbo. Um, I feel like they haven't reconciled entirely. Um, if there is someone new around them, in particular a magician, I feel like the magician may be helping them along their spiritual path also, um, or helping them in some way here. You know, the magician is quite clever can be a little bit conniving because he does manipulate the way we see things. So I feel like someone might not be entirely honest of whether they miss you or not or entirely honest when you speak because, as I said, they're in limbo. They're not yet ready to reveal the details of the breakup, why they did it, why they went along with it, why they reacted the way they did. Um, but I also see it as hope because, you know, there's doves here or what looks like doves, and birds. And I feel like someone's ready to fly, someone's ready to soar. Um, I feel like someone is trying to break free from you. You know, you've, you've, you've been up in their thoughts for quite some time and they're trying to break free, break away. They're trying to soar. They want a fresh new start. Um, but as I said, they're a little bit in limbo. So I almost feel like they're, they're stuck um, and they can't move um, very far. The Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. The Ten of Cups really is a card of happily ever afters. It possibly is um, coming up as a reconciliation for some of you. Your lives will be intertwined once more and the two of you may reconcile sometime soon, especially if it is a Cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio here with the Ten of Cups. But this is quite a passionate embrace. This is like only the two of you exist in your own little bubble and that's all that matters. So I almost feel like if you had people against you or people that went against this relationship for selfish reasons, or maybe they were disapproving of the relationship, or maybe they didn't step forth and give you their blessing, I feel like the two of you, it's almost like the two of you against the world, so to speak, or against anyone who ever opposed this connection. Because I think for some of you, Karma may send this person back around to you, Aquarius. And of course, it'll be up to you to, to bring them back. There is a potential new start with the magician, with this person. But, you know, I think the ball may be in your court um, here. 
but it's quite a passionate embrace. There's intensity, there's sexuality, there's passion with the Ten of Cups. There's a longing to be together and it's, you know, they're in deep, they're in the deep ocean. So they're deep in love, deep in thought, deep in affection. Um, so this is what I'm, I think they're reminiscing, to be honest. I don't know if you did something to them in particular, especially when like, um, with, you, with how affectionate you were, like when you made love, I think there was something that you did and if that I think they've expressed to you that it was their favorite thing or they told you, you know, they got, it drives them crazy when you do that or when you say that or you wear that or something like this. Uh, they're thinking about this. A chariot, strong cancer coming through here. Okay, for some of you, this person is de definitely going to succeed in winning your affections once more. The chariot card is success. It's prevailing from a situation here. It's taking control of emotions. So I'm actually seeing that they're going through some sort of stage right now. And right now they're in limbo, but soon enough they're actually going to start to control their emotions and start to see a destiny that they need to fulfill. For some, if it's a water sign, I feel like this water sign wants to come back to you. Um, they miss you dearly and they're going to actually be successful in getting back with you in a relationship, getting back in bed with you, um, talking about getting back into another relationship, having a second chance. With this sort of energy here, I feel like with the chariot, this person is, sorry, this person is keen on getting something started once more. They really are. This is quite powerful, you know, this is taking control of emotions, but this could also indicate that there might be success for a relationship the second, third, fourth time round, for example, depending on how many times you've broken up and made up, etc. But I feel with the chariot card, there's someone that's going to make their way into your heart again. And there's compatibility. The two of you will be compatible. Emotionally, you'll be compatible. So for some, even though you might not accept them into a love relationship, you may start to be opening up to them. Uh, maybe more, maybe before you were screaming at each other and you weren't getting on, but I think that's going to slowly change and there'll be some sort of realization within you, Aquarius. Um, I do believe this, yes. But they do still harbor a lot of feelings is what I'm seeing, um, whether they're aware of it or not. The sun, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo popping up here. I think things are looking pretty bright for this person. Again, the sun is creation. The sun is illumination. The sun gives birth to life. The sun allows for this endless stream of goodness in the universe. It gives life. It, it's a force field. Um, it's energy. So I feel like this person is finding themselves, is getting a surge of energy. And I'm not, I, I really think you had something to do with this Aquarius. So I'm not sure if this person is going to come back bigger, better, stronger than ever, really the best version of themselves and show up into your life once more. And I think that's when the two of you may rekindle something here. But I also feel with the sun card, this person is shining. So I definitely feel like they're, yes, they're up to something and all will be illuminated very, very soon. But I feel like with the sun card, there's growth and there's promise of something brighter for them. I almost feel like there's a newfound optimism in some sort of way here. And I think maybe your exit out of the relationship or something, Aquarius, was quite memorable for them. Um, and as a result, maybe it was something that you said, um, maybe you pointed out, you know, judgment can be good judgment, can be bad judgment. It can be anything that affects us spiritually, mentally, emotionally. So anything you've communicated to this person i think they're taking that on and learning from that um aquarius this is enlightenment with the sun card but i honestly feel for some of you there is a reconciliation that can promise love intimacy um affection a successful relationship you know a more optimistic relationship one that has more happiness more memory more good fond memories um and has a lot more positive energy to flow in the relationship. But I will leave it um, at that, Aquarius. I hope this has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we'll chat soon. Please take care. Um, all the best.